Mr. Hull, I would say you just had a classic Scott Dixon performance, which delivered his fifth championship. Tell me about what you guys just accomplished today. Well, I don't know. It, it, it will totally sink in for a while because we do stay in the moment a bit here at Chippenessy Racing. <laughs> and, uh, but we know what it means. We know what it means to win a championship, let alone the number of championships that Chip has, ha, has won as a race driver, as well as the others that Chip and Assey Racing has won. I, I think championships define who you are as a team of people. Mm. Uh, an individual race win validates your day. But uh, championships are about how hard everybody in the building and how hard everybody uh, on the race team and how hard the partners work together. That, that's what defines you. So um, I wish we could introduce every person that's in that group. Yeah. You know, there's hundreds of, hundreds of people there and uh, that have helped us get to where we are today. What's going through your mind lap one when you see Alexander Rossi's trailing a bit of right front wing, has a flat right front tire. You know he needs to finish ahead of Dixie in order to have a chance at the championship. What's going through your mind when you see that? What's going through my mind is there's 84 laps to go and a lot can happen. Mm. Uh, and so we just had to we just had to race our race. And you know everybody saw at the end of the race how how terrific and how great Alexander Rossi is. From where he came from, you know, he came from two counties away, probably the county yeah. he grew up, uh, <laughs> literally, to get to back to where he was at the end of the race. And uh, uh, hats off to him, hats off to his team. They're a great team. They have great culture. They have a winning tradition. Uh, and you can, but you can only crown one champion. Uh, so today it was Scott Dixon's turn. Let's talk a little bit about the close to the race. We saw that Rossi was certainly on a tear, fueling that thing up and just flying. We also saw Dixie come in for his last stop, rocket it out. Looks like he'd been making speed and saving fuel. And then the two of them were just essentially matching lap times to get to the finish. Was there ever a comfort that you were in the, you were good or not? I, I don't think there is comfort there because you're anticipating that there very well could be a yellow at the end of the race, which puts everybody together. Uh, and uh, it's not over till it's over. And uh, we're happy it, it ended uh, swinging our way today. Last question for you. Five, five IndyCar championships, number two all time. A.J. Foyt is still up there with seven. If we're at least talking generationally, is there anybody, than, anybody better than Scott Dixon? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Chip Ganassi <laughs> Racing, your 2018 Verizon IndyCar Series champions. Michael, congratulations, Thank my you friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. Did you learn anything about Scott Dixon today that you didn't know? I was, uh, he did what I hoped he could do. Um, and he was so calm about the whole thing. Um, I, yesterday I learned something about him. I think he did a, a fantastic job adapting his driving style to, to the car, the track, the tires, better than maybe he's, he's done all season mm. on the, on the, uh, the road course package. And um, for somebody with that much of success and that many races under his belt, his ad ability to adapt continuously amazes me. Um, yeah. Looking at five championships, First of all, that makes me think you probably want to start training to get back and at least draw equal with that guy again. But five championships, mate. A.J. Foyt's up there at seven. Knowing this guy, it's possible. But, I mean, that just puts him in a place where if folks weren't already in a place of severe reverie for Scott Dixon, they should be. Well, I don't know about that. I wouldn't go that far. No? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> he, um, I, I said that when we were teammates, this guy is going to rewrite the record books mm. he's going to be up there and he's he's proven it again um this this season with the ganassi team i mean the, the, it, it takes a team it takes simmons to come up with the cars the, the strategy to be called right They've, every member of that team did a fantastic job um but he he yeah what, what can he achieve i don't know it's just, as long as he wants to 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 keep doing it as much as long as he can keep that determination and passion for it um he's still relatively young i know um so yeah, fantastic. I'm I'm so proud of him. I'm so happy for him. I think you and I need to head over there to at least help Chip if he starts crowd surfing again. There's some fractured I've got backs a, I've and got legs. A bad back. and, okay. I, can't be, I can't be doing any of that stuff. <laughs> All right, Scott Dixon. Holy cow, man. We, five times. Five. That's pretty impressive. It's not bad at his job. He's all right. He's good. Uh, I'm going to have to go. Yeah. I'll, 
I'm going to have to go get him uh, properly drunk tonight. I, I was going to say, I'll call you around Wednesday because I think you might be sober enough to figure out how the phone works by then. i got to fly back to London tomorrow. Oh, drunk flying. Thanks, pal.